Hello everyone, it is time to show you my closet. I actually promised those who watched my video last week that I would show a, a tour of my closet. Full reveal next week. And actually there's one missing part, but we are here now and nothing is perfect. Everything is always growing. So nothing is ever finished in my opinion. We are always changing, evolving, and that's the way it should be. Here is my closet. As I've mentioned before, I am going to be having a renovation in my closet thanks to Creative Spaces. And the designers are here with me. So, hello. Hi, I'm Kim. I'm, I work with Creative Spaces. Uh, me and my sister own the business. I'm the architect, and I, we help designers and <laughs> yes, and it's super exciting because right now it's the second day of getting everything sorted. We've been planning this for months already, right? But it's just because of quarantine and making taking extra safety precautions that it took us today to actually start the process. It's the second day and um, let's just explain what's happening in there. Oh. So what we did, we removed all the existing cabinets um, and then we changed these shelves. So these are new, we're gonna have it painted. And then we installed these lower drawers here. There's no paint yet. We're also gonna have her ceiling fixed. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna destruct, demolish it. We are in the seventh day of renovation of my closet. Let's check it out. Smells like rugby. Basically, what we've had done is they've added the shelves, they're about to add lighting. They, in fact, they've added already some of the lighting. We're using Xiaomi lighting, down lights. For this part, we have um, the shelves. I originally had another one on top, but I asked them to remove it. It's just, I don't see myself going way up high, and um, I just wanna be able to see what is visible and reachable. And then I guess they've installed the bars for one area, but and then they've repainted and sanded the drawers and they've made the ceiling higher. So they broke the ceiling and then now they covered it and we are still going to install three more lights. Exciting. If you remember, I had a closet tour two years ago. I have just change the look of things because I've always wanted it to be bright. I've talked about this before in my video where I wanted to make things feel like a store because visibility is super important when organizing, structuring, and being able to appreciate the things that you purchase. And this was really inspired by Kanye West's closet. And it's almost like a copy of it, but you know, we got a reference where our inspirations come from. As you know, I worked with Creative Spaces to make this space possible. We really collaborated on what I envisioned and also their architectural electric skills and all of that because those are just as important. Being able to know the electrical things, also the flooring and ceiling stuff, that is something you personally don't consider if you are not an um, architect or an interior designer. All right, so over here, this is just like a long black pole. <laughs> it's pretty much just like a hanging rack system and all of them are displayed by categories. The way I organize my closet, as I've mentioned in my How To Be Basic closet video, I think about how I want to navigate around my closet. So this space is probably the space I wouldn't go to as much, and it's also covered by the door, if you can see. So I placed all my jackets here. Then I wanted to make whatever is here accessible. So my pants, and then my dressier items, and then my tops. And, but before we get to that, I also have some drawers in here. I have six drawers right now, and all of them are also organized by categories. And I have changed the way I fold just because I've learned a lot more in the past two years about how I could be more organized and filtering through stuff. So the way I organized it is by use. Something I don't get as much are my bags. So here, this is where my bags are. I have placed all my small bags in here and I have my clutch and um, I have this little bag here, but all of them are organized and it's also by color range, so black to bright. And then 
next drawer over here are my long sleeves and thermals. Over here is my loungewear. I am obsessed with skims just because I like the simplicity of the clothes and the nice neutral tones. And that is what I have over here. I have pajamas that I like to wear. I like to wear long sleeve pajamas and then um, some unique little pajamas as well that I've had for a while. Then over here, we have my undergarments and they are all organized by section as well. I have my bras here and then my underwear. Right, Tonka? He's just watching me. And over here, I have my body shape wear, you, things that you wear underneath so that you look not so bulgy. <laughs> I have sweaters and I don't think I have a lot. Probably I have um, four sets and that's pretty much it. And they're all neutral tones. Surprise, who's surprised? I'm not surprised. So over here I have my accessories and this is where I play socks, my swimsuits and hats. Uh, I mix it all together because I, I need to fill up the space and I guess I don't have a lot of socks. I try to keep my socks as limited as possible, maybe like 10 pairs each, maybe five sets of each color. So five of whites, five of blacks, and then these little shorter socks for ballet flats. So your feet don't get stinky. Over here, I have my patterned dresses and this is as colorful as I get. I do like colorful dresses, so this is the extent of, of how colorful I can get. But one of the things that I do want to mention is that I am very aware of the things that I own. Another thing that I need to know is how to wash these items. You always need to check the label at the back. If it says cold wash, hand wash, those are all super important to ensure that you maintain the quality of your clothes. Over here, we have my tops and I have all the sleeveless and then long sleeves ones here. Then I have shorts over here and then athleisure. Yes, and they're divided into sections so that I am able to pick it out. So I already know that this category ding, ding, is for tops. This little section are for shorts and then this is for athleisure. And this is a great way for me to navigate around the closet and figure out where my items are. And it's by color so that it's very simple. But again, there isn't that much color. I try to keep my items to around like 30-ish tops or less because I wanna make sure that I'm able to wear it over and over again. But well, one of the main goals of this closet space on top of visibility is to make sure that I utilize every single item to its mostest and being able to pair things, mix and match. That is how I feel like I could maximize the use of something that I've purchased that is maybe more expensive, but I could wear for a longer period of time. Things aren't as perfect. I have sold some clothes that maybe don't fit me as well, but that is a whole process of discovering your own body and what fits you, the style. And I feel like I've really gotten the hold of what really works for me. And now I'm more selective with the things that I own. Then over here, we have our shoes. I, I believe I have about uh, 30 pairs of shoes. Yeah, it's about 25 here. And then I have some in the front area. Those are like sandals, like my Crocs, whatever. These are more, I guess, formal, but not. So I have categorized it by formality. So this is from casual all the way to formal. And all my formal ones are at top and the ones that I'm going to reach out more are at the bottom. And then over here on top are my bags. I have a curated selection of bags. I, as you can see, it's not as colorful. It's just a range between camel tone to blacks. I just feel like black works with everything. So that is the reason why I only have those items. And this bag right here has a little story. The first branded bag that I purchased for myself, this is a Miu Miu bag. I remember when I first got it when I graduated, but like I, I was looking for this and I bought it myself. And I was super proud because when you buy something for yourself, it just feels different. And that's why, you know, you hustle. You hustle to earn because it, feel, it feels different. And well, not relying on somebody is also feels as good. Being self-sufficient, independent, and being able to support yourself. Don't rely on anyone. One. do it yourself but anyways 
For the bags, I have the bigger bags here. And then I, again, I showed you, I have my smaller shoulder bags inside, like clutches and stuff. But these are my bigger bags. I usually don't display it out this way. I actually put them in bags because this it gets dusty pretty easily. So I just wanna make sure that I maintain the quality of my bags by keeping it in the dust bags and hopefully, you know, I will be able to use it. Most of the stuff I've purchased myself, but two bags here were gifted to me. Yes, you can guess which one. <laughs> Ow, this side. So those bags were gifted to me. And then this side, all the things I have purchased myself. I don't plan on purchasing a lot more. I wanna make sure that any bag that I buy, I will use for a long time and I have about three bags in my wish list, but you know, budgeting and also making sure that you can pay for other things. I have not purchased them, but they are still in my wish list and hopefully I will be able to get them in the near future. But that is my bag collection and I can go into detail if anybody is interested. You can comment in the comment section down below if you are. And over here I have a humidifier, which I have switched off and this is really annoying because we actually forgot, well, I actually forgot to mention to them that I wanted to move the socket at the bottom. So it is here still. I can't do anything about it, but that is life. And what I've done is I found like a long wire and an invisible tape to kind of hide the wires so that it's not visible. But here, this is a humidifier, which is really important considering that I leave my clothes out in the open. I close my closet doors and leave this humidifier on. The humidity of this room should remain at around 40 to 50, only because that is the optimal humidity level in which your clothes should be in. And that's what maintains the quality of your clothes. This is the last thing that I wanted to, you've seen this before in my other videos. I haven't been able to change this because um, we haven't been able to kind of custom make this yet, but this is my drawer full of my, you've seen it, my makeup, my hair tools, anything that I need to fix myself. My glasses are here. So these are, my sunglass collection has actually expanded and it's nice because I have different styles now. And then this is my accessory collection. But this is going to change soon and maybe I'll do a video on that as well. But for now, this is what I have and this is my closet. So that's it guys, this is what my closet looks like. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section down below. I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you again to Creative Spaces for collaborating with me on constructing this area. That's it, thank you very much and I'll see you next time.